Okay, today I'm going to be going to the two extremes of the temperature scale using a giant Fresnel lens to generate thousands of degree temperatures versus liquid nitrogen. So a Fresnel lens is essentially a big magnifying glass, except that it doesn't use a curved lens. It uses tiny little etchings in the glass to angle the sunlight all at the same point. So it can ignite things very quickly. It can ignite wood almost instantly. It can even melt sand. It can burn rock. Really cool. So I want to see what it looks like when you shine a giant magnifying glass on liquid nitrogen. So first I'm going to test a cup of liquid nitrogen. I'm going to test a clear cup of liquid nitrogen and then I'm going to test a black cup of liquid nitrogen. So I'm going to have black construction paper in it and see if it makes a difference. So first I'm just going to be testing how well the liquid nitrogen absorbs the sunlight by itself. Not really doing anything to the cup. Can't even melt the frost. Huh. So this looks like liquid nitrogen is winning this battle. I can't even melt the cup. It doesn't even look like it increases the boiling rate. So to show you how hot this is, it instantly catches this piece of wood on fire. But when I move it to the liquid nitrogen, nothing really happens. Okay, now I have my black cup here, so I have some black construction paper in the cup that I'm gonna pour the liquid nitrogen in. So let's shine the intense sunlight on the black paper and see what the liquid nitrogen does now. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's making a hole through it and melting the plastic a little. It burned right through the paper, but it can't start a fire because the liquid nitrogen is so cold. And also there's no oxygen in there. Okay, let's try to get it on the bottom there. Okay, so this is really weird. So it gets extremely hot right exactly where the sun was, but it also stays extremely cold. So it does the two extremes at once. You can see how cold it actually is, but the liquid nitrogen burns a hole right directly where the sun is hitting. And it never started to fire because there's no oxygen in there and it doesn't get hot enough outside of the spot right where the sun is. So look at this, the burning of the paper is actually really interesting. So normally if you just burn it, this kind of disintegrates and flies up as smoke, but there's actually, the combustion is actually different with this. It's all surface reaction and not gas reaction. And so you get this very thin film here, you can kind of see through it. And also since there's very little oxygen in here, probably the only oxygen that this was seeing was oxygen that condensed into the liquid nitrogen itself. So there was very little oxygen to make this uh, combustion reaction happen. And so that's why the burning looks different also. So really interesting. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.